In this video, you will see how to configure webmail with the Outlook client. First, I will show you how to connect webmail to the Outlook desktop application. Later in the video, you will see how to configure the webmail with the Outlook mobile application. Let's get started. You can see I have my webmail logged in on the browser. This webmail is from my provider Hostinger. But the process is same no matter who your webmail provider is. You need to find the IMAP and SMTP configuration for the provider. For that, you do not need to have access to the webmail host. You can find the configuration with one Google search. Here, on the Hostinger dashboard, I can find the SMTP configuration under the Connect Apps and Devices option. And I can see the configuration here. But again, I can find it without having access to the dashboard. You got the point. Now, on the Outlook application, I need to configure the webmail email. I already have two email accounts added. Let's add the webmail account. I have a video on my other channel where I have explained how to connect your custom domain email with Gmail and Yahoo Mail. You will find the link to this video in the description. This could be helpful for you if your primary email is Gmail and you want to manage your webmail account right from the Gmail inbox. On Outlook, click on the file option and here you see the option add account. I will type the webmail email here. Here I need to select the IMAP option. We have two options, POP and IMAP. IMAP is better when you want to access this email from multiple locations. You can see here the definition of IMAP and POP. So I'll select IMAP. Here I need to put the incoming mail server and outgoing mail server. For that, I'll go to the configuration settings here. This is the incoming mail IMAP and the port is 993. Let's do this. I'll paste it here and I'll put the port 993. Encryption method SSL and TLS. I can see the encryption method here. And for the SMTP hostname, I need to copy this and the port is 465. Port is 465 and SSL and TLS. Now I'll click on next. Now I need to enter the password for the email. I'll quickly enter the password. Account successfully added. Now when I check the Outlook application, I can see the new webmail account has been added successfully and I can see all the folders here. Let's try to create an email from this new webmail account. Now I'll send this. Now I can see it in the sent items. And here you can see on the webmail, I can see the same email inside the sent box. If I go to inbox, I can see I have received an email from Outlook. You can see here, this is an email message sent automatically by Microsoft Outlook while testing the settings for your account. This means the webmail account has been successfully configured with our Outlook desktop. Now you can send and receive emails from your Outlook application. Whatever you send from your Outlook application will be synchronized with the webmail web version. And whatever you send and receive inside this, you will see everything in the Outlook application under the webmail folders here. Now let's configure the webmail account with the Outlook mobile application. On the Outlook mobile application, I already have three accounts added. And when I click on this, I will have the option to add an email account. I'll select this and I'll add the email. Add account. Here I will select IMAP. I'll put this. This is the display name. I'll put YouTube and here I need to put the IMAP host name. That is the host name from the webmail provider. For me, it is imap.hostinger.com and the port is 993 port security port security SSL is selected. IMAP password. I'll quickly enter the password and now I need to enter the SMTP and the port is 465. The security is SSL and the SMTP password. Everything is entered. Now I'll select the sign in. 
here i can see the email is added with my outlook mobile application and i can see the same email from microsoft outlook i received this when i was configuring the webmail account with the outlook desktop version now if i check the send here i can see the email i have sent from the outlook desktop client our webmail is successfully configured with outlook desktop and outlook mobile if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching